welcome back to another video uh this one is talking about the wheel upgrades that i talked about in the previous video i uploaded as you can see now i have a wheel built up and i'm going to talk about it a little bit so to build this wheel up what i had to do is i had these spokes here they are uncut and unthreaded if it'll focus as you can see, they're uncut and unthreaded. They are 300 millimeters long. One of those was threaded. They're 300 millimeters long, coming from uh, the website I bought them from. And I used a spoke length calculator online. It asks you for the distance from this end to the uh, other end. So from here to here, it asks you the distance from this face to this face. It asks you for the distance from one of these holes to the opposite hole underneath. And then it'll ask for the distance from here, the top of the rim, to the bottom of the rim in millimeters. That's for all those in millimeters. And it'll, it, it shoots out a little number for me, 211.5 millimeters for this particular wheel. And I measured out, I knew the, the length of the spoke, so I used this and I use the difference focus okay there we go I use this at 300 minus 211.5 gives me the difference of like 88.5 measure out 88.5 put it in here make a mark and then I use this it's a spoke cutting tool to cut the spokes then I took a file just any old file really to make the ends, these ends right here, after you cut them, oh, it won't focus. After you cut the ends, they're a little sharp. So then after you, um, I just filed them and made a little bit of a taper. So that way I could use this Cyclo spoke threading tool. And how you use this is you just take the spoke, you loosen this handle. There's a little tab it goes under. Hold on a second. There's a little tap, see it goes underneath, underneath there, then you lock her down like this, you adjust this slightly out for the first run, and then you tighten it down for the second run, and it puts threads on here, and you can go as far as you want or as little as you want. I usually go about, well I want one and a half times the distance. Some of these are a little bit, have a little bit of extra. Some of these have a little extra thread showing. That's just because I threaded some of them a little longer than others. And then after that, uh, I laced the wheel. So you have to do, you have to do these ones going in from the top. So they go in from the top, and then you do the every other hole to every fourth hole on the wheel. So it'll go from here to here, and then from here to here, every fourth hole. And then you go and you do the top on the other side. So the ones coming in from the top, you do the ones on the top from the other side. And then then once you get both of those, you can do the ones coming from the bottom, which are the ones that face out. So these ones. So the, these you do second. These you do first on both sides. These ones right here. So that way you can, because uh, you can't have them crossing when you actually go to when you go to up, put them in there, you can't have anything crossing for the ones going, coming in through the top or the f side facing you and going down. Because you have to, they have to come in and then be pushed out and then go into the holes. So, I mean, it took, a, it took about nine hours to do all of this yesterday for me. And this is the first time I've really ever laced a wheel and built a wheel from scratch. And then, so you're probably wondering, oh, how are you going to true the wheel? And I don't have a truing stand, so what I had to do is I came over here. I have this table. And I took, I took my measuring tool, and I have, I have 17 or 17 or 18 millimeters on there, and I spun the wheel and just kept the tool here and it measured 
and then I, as you can see I marked what needs to be tightened up because the one it was it was a little bit wobbly but I got it within half a millimeter so it's actually pretty it's pretty true now I'm not really worried about anything more a little less than half a millimeter so that's the wheel so thanks for watching if you have any questions leave a comment below